how can I make a cool interactive map with roads and things on it but then scatter my own data points that I want to show on the same map and uh, have it interactive. I'm your host Sean McKenzie and today we're going to take a look at the Plotly Express library and we're going to build a map in less than 10 minutes. We're going to show some car share data in Montreal uh, which is a built-in data set in Plotly and we're going to show how to do a scatter map box. So without further ado let's get to our maps in Python. Are you a programmer looking for your next gig? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay check out this map that I did. It's very interactive. You can zoom in and out. You can see there's a bunch of uh, data that's attached to each point here. This is uh, car share data in Montreal and you can see that the size of the uh, dot is associated with the number of hours and the color with the peak hours. And so you might be wondering how can I create this in Python and it's actually pretty easy. Um, so I'm using the uh, default installation here and I uh, just made a new Python file from the idle shell there. I did a file new and then uh, I'm going to uh, do an import statement. You can import um, plotly.express as px and then we're going to use pandas as well. Um, and uh, I'm just going to give some feedback to the user here. Now uh, getting the data is actually very easy because I'm going to use one of the built-in uh, data sets in the Plotly uh, library and so it's, it's good for for practice use, it's got some car share data with some longitude and latitude um, coordinates as well as a little bit of data about the car share at, at each point. And so I'm going to say df is equal to px.data.carshare. That's going to get us that, that practice data set. And I'm, I'm just going to print off the head and tail of it. Um, so you can see the data frame head and tail and you can sort of see what the data is that we have in here. So this is what we're going to plot. We've got, you know, 249 rows um, with a latitude and a longitude, uh, some car hours and peak hours. And uh, I've, I've decided that I think I'll use the car hours for the size of the dot and I'll use peak hours for the color um, to just show, uh, show the different colors. You could switch it up and, and mix and match if you want to. Uh, but we can sort of get started here. And so we're going to use the scatter map box. Um, so we'll do uh, fig for figure is equal to uh, px.scatterMapBox. And then we're going to add our arguments here, which is pretty straightforward. The first argument is our data frame. Um, and uh, second argument will be our longitude, which is L-O-N. Uh, and so we'll say longitude is equal to df uh, centroid lon uh, for longitude and then we'll do uh, lat is equal to df and then it'll be uh, centroid uh, latitude um, just like we have in the uh, in the other pardon me on the idle shell there and uh, we'll put our zoom level to start um, at 3, which is not very zoomed, so it's going to be pretty far away from the Earth. Uh, but that'll give us something to, to start with. And now we can set our color. Um, you can set it. You could actually use the car hours for color too. Um, but I'll put the peak hour in there. Or peak, yeah, the peak uh, hour, which, which will give a different color for each peak hour. Um, and uh, so you can sort of tell, depending on what the color is, you know when the peak hour for that spot is and then we'll put the size equal to uh, the data frame and then we'll use that car hours which is uh, which is a, a real number and so the size of it will change the size of the spot will change depending on uh, what the, the number of hours is and then uh, we can put all kinds of uh, arguments in here. There's a bunch. You can check it out um, in the documentation, but the, the width is one, so that's going to make the width of your um, of the uh, graphic that it puts up into 
uh, into the browser. Um, and then the height, uh, you can put that as well. So I'm just going to do a 1200 by 900. Um, and then uh, you can put a title in here as well. So this is where you can uh, put a title in. You can say car, car share. Um, and and you know whatever your title is and uh i'll just put uh map uh, map for our map box uh our map box here so that's really the basics of of what you need to get going and then you can do things like update the the layout which is pretty important as well and so what we're going to do on our first uh layout update is, is we're going to set the style of the map box uh, to the OpenStreetMap because if you run this without having the OpenStreetMap on it, uh, you'll get like an empty sort of like wireframe of of the map, um, which is you know people use that sometimes. You can also put different ones in here. You can use like uh, the uh, geological survey, like just the mountains and forests kind of view. Uh, but I, we're going to use the OpenStreetMap today, which is really cool. Um, and uh, many thanks to that group uh, for putting that together. Um, make sure to check them out online. And uh, uh, then we'll update the, uh, the margins. Uh, so you can set the margins when you uh, start putting this together. Um, you know, if you need more room for your title and things like that, you can, you can adjust the margin. Um, so I'll put zero for the right margin, the top I'll put 50 pixels, um, and then I'll put zero for the left and like 10 for the bottom or something. Um, and uh, just so that you're aware of that, and, uh, and uh, this should actually be in uh, curly, curly braces. Uh, I think this, yeah, because I believe that this will need to be in curly braces. There we go, and uh, we'll put those on, and then uh, we're done for our margins. And uh, so that's kind of the the main the main bit of it. I can put the uh, plot complete on here, and uh, and then we can um, we can go ahead and we can try this out um, and just sort of see what we get. Uh, we got our data there, and oh. Oh yeah, I guess we need to show the figure. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So we got our data. We saw our data again, but you do need to say fig.show uh, in order for it to actually uh, come up. So we'll save that and uh, hit F5 again. And let's just see. So this is a pretty small uh, window that I'm recording in, but you can you can sort of see here is our, uh, our, our data points in Montreal. You can see Laval there. And, uh, and uh, you can see all of these nice plots around here, all these data points with different colors showing the different times of day. And, uh, and as you sort of scroll in, you can see more about it. Um, you can get much more um, detailed by scrolling in, which makes it nice and interactive for the user. You can see there's the peak hour is 20, peak hour is three is a dark color and it gets lighter as it gets later in the day and uh, the size of the dot is to do that is related to the uh, to the car hours now that was a pretty huge plot on that you know if we were looking at it on our on our big widescreen but I'm recording in this tiny little window so I'll make that a bit smaller um, on my plot and then when I hit F5 the browser should come up and it's still pretty still too big it's a little bit better I think um, but we'll increase that zoom from 3 to 8 uh, we want to be a little closer to our dots when we first started out here and uh, that's a lot better if we if we set the zoom level to 8 and you can see I'm still scrolling all over so I could make the window even smaller if this was my target sort of size of, of display uh, but as you can see I can go in I can uh, I can do all kinds of stuff there. Uh, if I set the zoom to 10 and then rerun it, <clears throat> then that's going to make it even more zoomed at the time that it goes. And uh, there we go. So you can see that is our scatter map box there. 
with a nice colored map with all kinds of roads and stuff. On the right hand side you can see there is a legend. You can adjust that um, how you like. And I think it'll be good if I just switch windows here so you can see the full map here. So I'll just switch to the browser window. That's much better. So here you can see the entire display as it comes up in the browser. You can scroll in, you can move around. Um, you've got your uh, you know, your peak hours in the legend on the right side, title at the top, and uh, you can see the different colors of the dots according to the data as well as the size change according to the data. And that's how you can do some maps using Plotly in Python. Need help or coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on maps in Python. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.